we're just gonna make our way all the way up that hill somehow. <laughs> That's the castle. So I did not film that much when we were in Edinburgh. We were just spending time with my friend who I hadn't seen since I think before the COVID lockdowns in New Zealand. But we just stayed with her for a few days and one of the things she suggested was going and seeing Edinburgh Castle, which is what you can see right here. All the previous clips were kind of just walking around the city with her and yeah, it was, it was really beautiful. To be honest, I was quite surprised about the weather. I've heard that Edinburgh is very mm, gray and cloudy, but we actually got some really nice, really nice days. So if you do get to Edinburgh, I definitely recommend the castle. This was in Edinburgh still. We had a morning to ourselves and we went and got some breakfast. I'll link the name of it because it was an incredible place for breakfast. And then we went to the, I think, State Museum? Was it State Museum? National Museum? And it was really good. Definitely recommend it. It's one of the better national museums that I've been to. There was a lot of variety, which I'm not used to seeing. We had one of these at uni. Yeah. Is it putting them in specific places, do you think? Yeah. No way. That's really cool. Gotta wait for it to light up, don't you? Before you press the button. Oh, there you go. I totally missed that. Do it again, do it again. Oh, you overdid it. Oh. Oh, is that how high it's supposed to go? All the way up here. I agree with the model. <laughs> They're referencing Bede, who's the um, first person to be studied to have done patterning. And this chess piece is from the 12th century. Not that you can really see the text, but it is very cool. And then after our brief trip in Edinburgh, we made our way down to Liverpool to visit a friend from New Zealand. Another friend from New Zealand. Um, she's a friend from high school that I hadn't seen in a while. So we went down there and we met up with her in the evening. So this was, we just had a little bit of time to explore Liverpool and this is where we went for lunch. It was incredible, a lot spicier than we anticipated, but I would definitely recommend if you're in the area. Walking around Liverpool. <laughs> All of the padlocks. I didn't know they had padlocks much in the UK. I've only ever seen them in Europe. How about you go swimming in filthy water? Yeah. Because it's basically orange. Oh 
gosh, you can't really see, but this is where we're standing. It says history landmark statue, Liverpool. And legit, it's just this like statue. And I assume if you get closer, it says who it is. Something. But Lewis. the fact that Google Maps just says history landmark statue, Do you like it's just painful. Oh. Look, it says there's a bird up here. There he is. <laughs> but we're just on the waterfront. Look at that cruise liner. This is a memorial to the... Does it say how many? I think it was around 220 or something. Engineers who died on the Titanic. There you go, it says 244 engine room staff. Wow. And they literally stayed down there to keep stuff running as long as possible. That's insane. Is it Titanic? Why does it say the Empress of Ireland? Where? Oh, it's a different one. And the Lusitania. Whoa! This is to do with the Titanic? Yeah. But then it says all heroes of the marine engine room and the memorial was... Blah, before the memorial was completed, the Empress of Ireland sank in 1914 with the loss of 1,000 lives. And Lusitania sank with the loss of 1,200. Dang. No, yeah, it says there. All the heroes of the marine engine room. There's the building from the side with the birds on top. Ah, oh, that's a better view. Absolutely chucking it down. Brilliant. Do you say it's a red robin? Can't even really see, to be honest. Ah, oh, there you go. Hi, friend. We're catching our train from Green Bank. And it's really cute. Yeah. And then we went on to Manchester as a layover on our way to Leeds. So we didn't stay there for that long. You can't really see, but it says welcome to Manchester. And we just happen to be walking on the platform that doesn't have any of those. So um, welcome to Manchester, everybody. <laughs> We're gonna go get some lunch. I'm very hungry. Lunch was actually all that we had time for because we then had to catch our, our coach to Leeds. Smile! And we didn't film anything in Leeds because we were there for a wedding. And to be honest, we were there for about a day and a half. So we didn't really do much. But then we made our way to London. Hi there! <laughs> um, what? <laughs> Where is it? This is a wet bed. <laughs> and it's in a really unfortunate place as well. What'd you do? Was it when you washed your hair? I think so. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Are you looking for something? No, no. Anyway, hi there. <laughs> we are in London. I have no idea if this is like halfway through a vlog I think I'm just gonna start a new one and the last vlog can just be a chaotic mess in and of itself um and we'll just do London all in one